decline rate of the suite of oil fields that makes up the, the majority of production is a very uh, hotly debated topic. You know, anything over 5% uh, is quite catastrophic. And I, my own view is that it's, you know, in the 7 or 8% decline in rate per annum. So this, at um, 80 million barrels a day, you're talking about five or six million barrels a day decline per annum that has to be offset, and that's very difficult. The rate of decline of the old fields um, is a dominant factor because the uh, majority of uh, oil is in super large fields. There is a really strange distribution of oil field sizes, and that's the root of the problem because um, the top three, four, five fields dominate uh, oil production and reserves. By the time you get to, I think it's 40 fields, uh, that's um, 80% 80, uh, 80 of the world's reserves. Put another way, 90% of the world's reserves are in 10% of the world's fields. And those fields have been discovered well in the past, they're on decline. And that decline is very hard to offset with uh, new production. At um, 80 million barrels a day, you're talking about five or six million barrels a day decline per annum that has to be offset, and that's very difficult. So what happens is price goes up, uh, demand is rationed, um, tr I, and I say that because move to transport because that's where it most immediately, transportation, because that's where it most immediately will hit. So driving will be become rarer um, and more of sort of privileged activity, same for flying and so on. But in my mind, it'll force people to conserve. You can make you know, better decisions and conserve an awful lot. <laughs>